second attempt at this damn challenge. Let's do this. We can do it. I know we can do it. Alright, Scout's Honor. Keep to your life until rescue comes. Get rescued by military or ally with other wastelanders. Timmy's knowledge has become invaluable. He must guide us through his struggle towards a better tomorrow. Always care for him and protect him. See, protect him. How can we protect him if I let him go out? But I, I'll listen this time. We'll do the opposite of what I did last time. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, they look all nice. Look how nice they look. Alright. Could have been worse, surely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know this. He must prove his scout abilities. I guess so. Sorry, living down here. It true. We don't even have a radio? What? They didn't give us a radio this time. They give us a gun and a suitcase, though. Alright. We're gonna send Timmy out. Get out of here, Timmy. You're gonna lead us to uh, greatness. A group of doctors knocked on our door today, requesting some supplies. Of course, you can have some water. Of course! I had the radio right away, I thought. I got the map later on. Alright. Everyone is thirsty already? Why? It's been only two, three days. Come on now. Alright, Timmy, take the gas mask. Head on out there. Timmy's gonna come back with some good crap. He always does. Timmy knows what to do. Watch me lose on day five, though. Do you want to waste away? We don't know what we'll do if we come. Well, we do know what we'll do. We'll die because we lose. Everyone drinks some water. What's that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. I don't remember having ammunition, but we might get it later. Oh, we do. Good. I didn't use the gun. That would have been a bit extreme for a rat, you know. And still good. You guys didn't break it. Nice. Nice. Alright, people hungry? We all good? We all good? Fantastic. Uh, there we were. I think it's a day like no other down here. When Mary Jane confronted us, she said it's her birthday, but she doesn't want a gift. Not in this situation. Not in this economy. Well, she's too young to be giving orders around here, so she's getting a birthday present, and that's that. We're just going to pick something out. She's not getting anything. We're, we're not giving her anything because that is so valuable right now. Sorry. She said she didn't want anything, so she didn't get anything. We listened to her. Mary Jane is too old for birthdays. That's what we think. That's sad. That is utterly sad. I'm sorry, Mary Jane. I'll get you something later. Something's missing. Let's see. Fan home. Check. Strange noises in our pipes. Check. Hellish yells outside. Check. Oh! Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. And that's really strange talking to her. Uh, that's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Yeah, Dolores, I don't trust a bit. I think she's my least favorite now. It used to be Ted. Actually, it's Ted, Mary J. I just don't- I only like Timmy. Let me just say that. Timmy's my favorite. Because he's the only one that does stuff. Talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Oh, good. Fantastic. He is. Ted just- Sucks. I uh, can't do that. Skip it. We don't got a radio. All right. Anyone dehydrate? Oh god, dehydrate already. Dehydrate already. Oh god, not good. We need to be back. I, I can't do half of this stuff. Oh, there's our there's our phone call that we're not gonna do. Oh my god, Mary Jane's losing it already! What happened? Mary Jane went nuts in nine days. Nine days! Do we just feed her or like just let her let her No one's going out there. I don't give a crap about that. <laughs> Phone call. New order. I got achievement for new order. Oh god, she, we didn't get anything useful. Timmy! Okay, you got a can of food and a map. Okay, that's that's not bad. What's up, Mister? Welcome, welcome. Well, I was expecting a little more. Uh, just because it's Timmy, but I can't be too disappointed, I guess. But we're, I don't know what to do with Mary Jane. Shoot. Uh, 
God dang it. Oh my god, is- are the only people able to go out? I can't even send anyone out. This is terrible. And our ammunition- Okay, it has to be- Mary Jane, give us the ammunition back! Damn it! Why are things going to hell so quickly? These challenges are making it difficult. Okay. Uh, it was too dark to find the side of bullets without a flashlight. They aren't lost, technically. They're still in the shelter, technically. I guess. I guess. I don't know how someone can go crazy in nine days, though. Oh my god, no one is ready. We were about to go to sleep when we heard someone knock on the door. Who could be at this hour? Who could be at this part of the wasteland? How in the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open it? Of course. I'm ready. Another knock? Damn, we're getting popular. We are. Oh, shoot, Ted. Oh, shoot, Ted. Oh, got two more cans. We don't got water. We don't got water. This is great. This is great. Um. Who was it, actually? Turned out it was a nice, mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup cans as well as survive the next couple days. I guess so. Ah! Oh, fantastic. Oh, God. I don't trust Dolores. I don't trust Dolores. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against one another. While his companion was praying to ride said horse, they claimed to be on a very poor quest to seek some magical cup. Only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map and to determine their whereabouts. I've never been able to give them the map. <coughs> this is exciting. That sound like a girl coughing. Is someone else sick? Nope. Okay, Ted just sounds like a girl when he coughs. We got a radio! Ayo! Okay, thank you, mysterious people with fake horse clopping. Uh, dehydrated, starving. This is not good. Not good. Not good again. And really not good. Um. Shoot. Dolores, no! I hate Dolores. <laughs> She's just gonna leave us. She's gonna leave us like she did last time. Ted's sick. I can't send him out there. Damn it. Guys, we're getting some crap runs right here. Throw us on our way to the surface and won't come back, most likely. Got hella food, though. Hella food. What was that? Did the radio stack just stop for a moment? Let's try turning into the signal. I'm ready. Okay, Ted's gonna die. Nothing, nothing, and nothing. We hear nothing but the annoying static. Better luck next time. Starving. As long as no one is thirsty. As long as we have food and water, we should stay locked in. But we'll have to leave eventually. Okay, let's just use the radio. And let's hope we can make uh, some contact with the military, maybe? I don't know. I'm curious to know what is the earliest day you can get rescued. Like, if everything just went right, what? how could you get rescued early? That's what I want to know. Fantastic. Okay, we cannot... Oh, wait. Shoot. This sucks. I'm gonna give my bug spray away for some water. Offers one. Just one? Give me two. See, the crappy thing is, I can't let people go long without drinking water but I can let people go long without drink or eating food we got tons of food and no water so I gotta do it and then there's gonna be bugs in the ventilation ah damn it but we got a water bottle we got the water bottle I wish he could have given us a little more but see everyone's dehydrated all right deranged oh my god she's she's lost it as we were about to start our book club discussions, the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide with them with any water, food, or medical supplies. We can give them food. We're good on food. The water is a problem. I think it's like two more days until Dolores comes back, so we just need to survive till then. Where's our other water? Why is it not in sight, game? Don't do that to me. Okay? Is everyone just starving? Okay. Last night, the whole shelter was woken up by Ted Scream Bloody Murder! It doesn't matter. He's woken up by cockroaches. Oh, she's going food? Water? 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 Oh, 
Well, we lose. Did you get anything? She's just a waste. You were, I'm not feeding these people anymore. It's just gonna be Ted and Timmy. I don't care anymore. Shoot! We hit, okay, what? We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the thought bomb blurry everything in our town. However, a phone booth on the street survived the bombing somehow. It seems to be ringing right now. Should we send someone to. Yeah, send Dolores. Maybe she do something productive. I don't know. Is it just people from Hill Valley again? I'm getting annoyed. Oh my god, Hill Valley. I ignored the first one, didn't I? Ah, Timmy! Damn, I, I, like, I feel like this run was doomed from the beginning. I can't do anything. Dehydrated. Uh, uh, I don't want to give them anything. That's all my water! We're gonna have to make some decisions here. Shoot. Is she still crazy? Oh, she's not crazy anymore. You don't get water. Oh my gosh. Ted and Mary Jane are butting heads again about who's stronger. Mutated Godzilla or Mutated King Kong? It's a tricky one for sure. And the bait is heated. Who will come out on top? You know what, Mary Jane? We need her to be in high spirits for going out on the next trip. Things just need to go. Well, actually, I should have chosen Ted because he's like about to die. Uh, Mary Jane objectively won the debate with the sheer volume of her voice. Fantastic. All right, who's gonna die? Dehydrated. I can't do it. But I have to. I feel so bad. You know what? I don't. This is for not getting us anything. Oh, good, good. We have spiders now. But we have nothing to kill them with. Fantastic. I think. Dolores left. Oh. Hmm. Alright. Dolores is dead. Whoops. We don't got any water, though, so... <laughs> well, well. Playwood Batch is never good idea. Doing it in such a tiny underground shelter is probably even lower on the good idea scale. A few matches later, and we end up with flames looking at Why? Save the radio. Why are they trying to burn down our freaking place? God. Yep, look at that. Burns. Burns. Thankfully, our map didn't die. That could have ended really, really badly. Obviously. Obviously, obviously. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of noise coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stampeding up there. It might be a good chance to hunt some fresh food. Mary Jane! You got this! Oh. Ah! Okay, we'll survive a few more days and we got cards and a crap ton of food and... Ted! Okay, we found the herd and we're able to bring down something that looked like two-headed donkey. That was carrying a package of sorts. Before we could get to it, a giant bird of prey swooped down, grabbed the carcass, and flew away. All that remained were a few cans of soup that fell out of the donkey's pack. Three! Uh. So, Timmy also found a can. Two water bottles. Cards. Yes, Timmy! Timmy came through. Dehydrated, hungry, fatigued. Dehydrated, hungry, fatigued, and sick. Um. I don't know if we should go out. I don't think we should. I don't think we should. Okay. Oh, I need to check everyone. Starving. Starving. Starving is okay. Everyone can starve. We were, we were sure we'd look through our supplies carefully. But Mary Jane spotted something all of us missed. A seed. A plant seed. We should plant it to see what happens. But we need a bottle of water for that. Should we use it? Hell no. Hell no. It's just gonna be a mutant plant. Sorry. Can't they just throw the body, like, outside? Instead of having this... 
skeleton just chilling right next to you reminding you that you drank the last bit of water instead of your your mom and that you might be the reason why she's dead um that that was sad and dark sorry uh this kitchen is not the best but he could take the risk where jay's more than ready to go yeah mary jane mary jane there's nothing more annoying than silence and that's all we're getting from our radio no music no talking nothing is there anything we can do the radio to make it work again we sure know staring at it won't help every time i do this it breaks the radio so i'm gonna do it because I, I feel like luck is up. Damn it! We broke it! Yep. Well. Uh, that sucks. That is a bummer. Get out there, Mary Jane. Well, if Ted dies, we're screwed. I mean, it's broken literally, like, every single time that things come up. But there's supposed to be a, a good outcome and I've never gotten it so that's annoying all right the note we found on our door today was a real surprise to us all it's not signed but it says that whoever wrote it has been overseeing us for a while and believes we're the right kind of people they instructed us to send a signal unarmed representative to a meeting today at midnight to find out more who should we send Timmy Timmy's got this Game over. Timmy was kidnapped. <laughs> Hell yeah, Timmy! It's true. It's all true. There are really others just like us. We arrived at the rendezvous unarmed and on time, and we were greeted by a friendly-looking group of survivors. They're being led by twins, a brother and a sister, who seem to be friendly enough. They asked us some questions and promised to stay in touch. That's fantastic. Hell yes. Um, Anyone thirsty? I think he might. He's thirsty and starving. That's not bad. We didn't think we would get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we're offered by men who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food, we win, and we get his two cans. If we lose, we give him our two cans. I don't think that's worth it. Like, honestly? Nah. Oh no, I heard a rat. I heard a rat. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? Speed supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We set the man away. Good riddance. Okay, you dehydrate, you're starving. Is anyone dehydrated? There you are. Crap, we're on our last bottle, people. We're on our last bottle. Well, and we got cockroaches now. And I think we just lost our map. I don't know. I heard something happen. No, nope, nothing. Oh, there's a cockroach right there. Oh my, that thing is huge. And here goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We're already feel dirty. Sorry, can't do anything about it. Uh, today during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. We got this last time, so we know it's a safe, and we know it's going to have, hopefully, something good like water. Water, 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 water. Nothing? What, soup? Did I get more soup? God, oh, it got a lock. Oh my god, Mary Jane. Screw you. You're a deserter. Oh my god. Timmy, you gotta do this for us. You gotta do this for us. Oh, hey. No, she didn't die. She ditched. They always ditch. I fear something bad has happened to her. She's she she's just with some bandit boy living her life. Uh, so Ted isn't sick anymore because the doctors came by. That's great. So there's still a chance with this run. There's still a chance. <sighs> All right, Ted is recovered. Lisa and Timmy out. I don't know. I feel like giving him nothing is just the best option. God dang it. There it is. Oh my god. Please. Please. Save me. Alright, how you doing, buddy? Starving. Uh, I can't even... I can't even do anything. I can't do anything. This is just a waiting game at this point. At least he's not sick. At least Ted is not sick. 
Okay, he's fine there. It seems that for every cockroach we squash with our boots, two others take its place. It's time to do something about it for get completely overrun. Rifle time, baby! Oh, we got rid of him. Nice. Nice. Dehydrated. Crap. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't say there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. Something good has to happen. Something good has to happen. Come on, day 38. I don't hear any knocks. Or nothing. This is just sad. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter. Shoot! See? I need that bug sp Oh! Timmy's back! Already! I don't see water! Timmy? Oh my gosh... He looked in garbage cans, and he got us a radio, and a gas mask? Buddy, we don't have water. How do you expect us to survive? I... Okay, we have to go back out. Oh, the Twin Slings have paid us to ask if we could have a map of our town. The shelter, the group is becoming bigger every day, and they're slowly running out of space in their tent. So now they... Oh my god. We have the tent! We have the tent! Hopefully, guys, we gotta last like 10 more days. I've sent Ted out. We were happy to see them again. We quickly hand them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark uh, to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight, but they said they would definitely be back again to share some news in a friendly chat. We hope they find a good place. Maybe we can visit them in the, when the camp is ready. I hope so. I hope so. All right, Mr. Ted, it's up to you, my friend. I got what two two drinks of water left. This is this is bad. This is bad. I got a few more than that. I right, no, I only have two. Okay. Yikes. Uh, someone pays a visit. Nope. 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 Well, a flashlight for our gas mask is pretty good. The radio is ridiculous. We don't really need our gas mask. Gas mask is more like early... Early game? I feel like the flashlight would be better for us now. I, I don't know, but we gotta do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it to do it. You know what I mean? Oh boy, are you hungry? Nope. Good. What the hell are those sounds? Are they coming from the goddamn walls? Their drive is crazy. Something crawling in the air vents? Relax, take a deep breath. We should probably calm down before we start tearing them. Okay, play some cards, Timmy. Timmy's freaking out. And he's by himself. Oh, there's a knock on the door. Stranger danger, Timmy. Stranger danger. Wow, they are really knocking. Um, He's fine. The wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door. Knocking and claiming that it... Oh, we don't got ammunition. Screw off, buddy. Screw off. Another knock. He really wants that ammunition. Really bad. Okay. Well, Timmy's still going. Okay, you just... Thirsty starving. Not bad. Open the name of freedom! Came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces himself like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Shall we open? Yes! Please! We need water. This is it. We need water. We need water. Let me see that water up there. God damn it. Is the water doesn't exist. We got an axe, but not not water. Uh, there's there goes our water. That's our last bit of water right there. We were able to catch the military broadcast again. This time they're asking us to get out a flashlight and signal to their plane after it gets dark. It go, If all goes well, they'll be able to find us. Sounds like they're, we'll be leaving soon. Not if we don't get water. Oh, please. This is the. This is it. If we have water, I think we can do it. I want to look. Someone look for me. Yes! Oh, he's sick! No! Shoot! 
Oh god. Okay. Well, good and bad. Ted just needs to like hold this out. He's not too bad right now. Timmy is good on health for expeditions. Okay, we just gotta keep doing expeditions. We got water though. We could hell no. No. Um oh. Wait. Do we have Offers one water in exchange for ammunition. When did I get ammo? Do I have a gun? Wait. I have a gun. When did that happen? Do you think that's worth it? I have an axe for protection still. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that because I have the axe. Yes, okay, that looks so much better. I just need, oh boy. Oh boy. Thirsty, starving, okay. All right, Timmy. Don't let us down, my friend. We're somehow still going. We're somehow still going. Oh my God, I need him to get better. Need him to get better. Dehydrated. Sick, tired. He is all sorts of stuff. We got a visitor from a person with physical mutation. We managed to grow several extra fully operational hands. He shared the story of his group with us, people with other deformities, who, despite the circumstances, remain friendly and struggle to gather supplies wherever they go. He would have shoot them away in fear of getting sick. Oh my god, how much food do I got left? Mm. Fine. Fine. Take a soup can. I don't care anymore. I've been so nice to everyone, I feel like, and I haven't really got repaid yet, um, so that's annoying, to say the least. Are you okay? You're okay. The friendly group came back to say that the camp is almost complete, but they need a few more items to make the place really worth living in. It's mostly about the children. There's a bunch of them in the camp, and their only entertainment so far is playing tag in the sad ruins of their homes. The group is collecting toys to keep the children happy and stop them from running off in the wasteland. Hell yeah, take my card. You know what? Take my harmonica. Let them all... Huh? Day 50. Ted, what happened? Lucas, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Amazing. Day 50, we get a follow. Ted. Okay, Ted's okay. Everything's okay. Some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came with a bunch of leaflets and tried... Okay. Uh, guys, I don't have the food supply to do this. Please. Get on the ferry. What does that mean? <laughs> Did I say something bad? I don't know. Uh, but I think his secrets were like something really stupid like drink water to survive i think it was something like that from the past yeah we don't trust door to door sales but don't be any worse starving he's fine he's fine he's fine timmy please don't die please don't die we woke up today feeling very uncomfortable it was like like someone or something was watching us we could have sworn notice movement in the shadows if anything besides okay yeah use the gun because we don't got ammo what the hell? Why were there shots? We don't got ammo. Were you making that with your no your mouth, dude? Making some noises like that? That's crazy. That is crazy. Dehydrated. Don't be dehydrated, my friend. Every new smell attacks our noise noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell on the wall revealing a tight opening, our senses immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what the source Yes. This hopefully will have more water or food. <coughs> He's still alive, though. He's still alive. I hear coughing and sickness. Oh, yep, food. I, th I think that's a food. Yes! All right. Oh, dear. We just remember we plan on taking... Okay. You remember day 53? You remember... Timmy. Timmy! Yes! Timmy! Timmy's sick! No, Timmy! Why... Why do good things come with sickness? Damn it! What did he get though? One water, one food, and checkerboard. I mean, that is good for two people, you know what I mean? We're not going out. 
You'd expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet since, you know, most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. When we opened it, we encountered a strangely demanded blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. No! That's just, that's not worth it. We don't have a water chip. He gets angry if you give him the water. We're not doing it. No, thank you. We were starting to explain. We didn't know what water chip was, and he got all angry and blah, blah, blah. We know. Thirsty, starving. Um, you know what? I'm just going to be nice to him because we need him to survive. You know what I mean? Okay, a traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the, the end of the world. What do you mean, why? What happened, Mustard? Uh, offers four water in exchange for the gun? I don't have ammo for it, so it's useless. Okay. I think, I think we just... Don't shoot me, though! Yes! Yes! I need, I need to be rescued ASAP. God, we got four water. It, we killed cockroaches. That's okay, though. And I still have the axe. Ow. 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 Why did my hand just start to sting? That was weird. No one's going out. Everyone's sick. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Please. Please don't die. Someone save us, for the love of God. Timmy deserves this. We took turns being out of the shelter a few times per hour and screaming random words in the wasteland. We ran out of words interest, and interest very quickly, though. Don't think anyone is coming. We. Oh my god, we clearly need something louder. Oh my god. They're losing hope. I can't let them lose hope. Drink, drink some water. Feel better, please. I don't know how to make them feel better, but I think water helps. Uh, we're not going out. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. Day 58. I just like, I feel like we're about to do it, but I, I can't get too excited yet. What is this? Yeah, we're not going out. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed, oh, god damn it. We got a flood. Does that mean the body's gonna get all wet? Can we please put the body, that's probably why we're sick, honestly, is the body. But hey. Oh, we used the suitcase for the, the leakage. Okay, I understand now. Starving. We're not sending anyone out. If there's one sure way to get our attention, it's definitely banging on our shelter door. Whoever it is, they're quite persistent. They met up for the past five minutes. Should we open? This might be it. <laughs> I think we did it. Did I get... Do we do it? Yes! It's the brother and the sister! Oh my god! Yes! For so long, we thought the world has really turned into a cruel, unforgiving, and hopeless place. But today, our views on it were ch challenged when the siblings and a few other people from their group visited us with an invitation to come live with them in their freshly built, fully functional camp. This is our chance to have a normal life again. Being between friendly and good people, taking care of each other during the good and the bad, and uniting together against the evils of the wasteland. This is an emotional moment for us and a time to leave our dark but cozy shelter on a way to a brighter future. Farewell, our humble little home. We're starting a new life today. Hell yes! Oh my god! We did it! Day 60, a new beginning. I, god dang. Yes! Challenge complete. We now have cooler looking items. Da, 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 da. Okay. I, I wonder where I go to like change the look of stuff.